Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Saint Tarot. I hope everybody is well. It's about 20 minutes to midnight on Wednesday, August 18th. So it's almost the 19th. Got about, what, 12 days left in August? I'm gonna kick off a bonus round. My goal for the rest of this month is to get this bonus round complete and all the September readings. We're going to see how well I do. Okay. We're going to see how I do. Again, I make no guarantees. You guys know a full-time job. I have a family. My life is chaos. I'm in the middle of completely transforming the house I live in. So we're going to see how well I do. But okay. That being said, it's the bonus round. All of the cards are in their respective order. Okay. No argument there, right? You guys are seeing them. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. And now we're going to screw them all up because I never go in order. Not for the bonus round. Nope. Nope. I let the universe decide. I have no idea. And once they're shuffled, they don't get touched again. <laughs> nope. I just pull off the top. All right. Taurus, you're up. This reading will be for Taurus. I have to work on the lighting. This is terrible. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the rest of August. It's your bonus reading. Any additional messages that the universe might have for you. So, okay. Universe source. Heavenly Father, Mother, the Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any message you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for whatever's left of the month of August. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I am grateful and thankful for the gift that I've been given, and I ask that you give me the clarity to accurately give Taurus any messages they need for their highest possible spiritual good, to put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Okay. And for those of you who've been around a while, no, I didn't do my spiel. No, didn't do it. Because I'm going to do it as I'm laying out cards. Okay. Simple one for the overall three card spread. We're going to clarify with the new deck that I just bought. I'll show you the box in a second. It's the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this deck. Anyway, get these shuffled. They're saying stop. Okay. Leave it. Okay. Which is tarot for the energy of the person that you're dealing with? So, Taurus, if it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey down mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. Check your moon rising your Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little. Blah, 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 blah resonate a little bit better. Keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of the cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here. Everybody's always welcome here at my table. I appreciate you stopping by. While you're here, if you want to hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, so you know when I upload, that would be super awesome. It all helps the channel and is greatly appreciated. 
as I'm laying out the rest of these cards, there's two quick things we gotta go over, okay? One, never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's a horrible practice and I don't recommend it. By a life-altering decision, this is what I mean. If it's gonna completely fuck up your universe, if you make the wrong decision, don't trust a deck of cards and I don't care whose cards they are, okay? Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you in any way, shape, or form, and it's not making sense or resonating in your life, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not your message. You can take what resonates with you, if you so choose, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it's not fitting, okay? So, here we go. Taurus overall judgment. This could be something resurrecting from the dead, or you could be making a judgment call. We'll clarify with the heaven and earth in just a second. What happened in the past, Prince of Cups. If somebody came into your life offering a cup, or you offered somebody a cup. Could be either or. Apply it however it applies to you. Current energy right now, Princess of Wands. Huh. And it's reversed. I mean, that's not a whole lot of communication going on. That's not a whole lot of forward movement. Things might be a little bit stuck. Could have something to do with a judgment call. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get clarity in a second. What's heading in? Love is reversed. Love is reversed. Oh, shoot. Mm. The lovers indicates a choice. In the reverse, it could indicate an impossible choice. Or you not being chosen. Again, we'll get clarity in a minute. Okay. Energy the person you're dealing with overall. Two of Wands, decision time. Letting go of the past, moving toward the future. Mm. Speaking of the past, the Fool. New ventures, new beginnings, new paths. Present moment. King of Pentacles. Oh boy. Husband, father card. Large and in charge. Works his ass off. Hmm. This is interesting, Taurus. Okay. Future King of Swords. Not the most emotional guy on the planet. And, and, okay. Insert whatever pronoun you want. That's not the important part, okay? So we're clear. Just so we're clear. Mm. It's a person. Mm. It's an energy. It's what the card's trying to say. It's a logical thought over emotion. It's head over heart. Oof. Hmm. All right. Turn it down a little bit, please. All right. Thank you. Well. Yes, he's still up. All right. Oh, I got to show you this box, the Heaven and Earth Tarot. I'm going to butcher somebody's name. Jack Setheroff and Jamie Elford. Oh, my God. I, I'm in love with this deck. I am. I'm in love with this deck. Just saying. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I, and usually I'm not one for like, not a whole lot of color. Granted that the, um, the black and white tarot, the tarot noir is one of my favorite decks and that's completely in black and white, but just the imagery on this, the softness and the gray scales. It's just, oh my gosh, I love it. I'm in love with this deck. I picked it up yesterday at Books A Million. Madness and I, I actually had to replace my gilded tarot because it got wet and I didn't realize it and I put it away. Then I went to get it back out to do a reading and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was horrible. I cried a little bit. It's only like the fifth gilded tarot deck I've ever bought, you know. Anyway, 
All right, we're gonna give this a shuffle. I'm trying not to bend these cards because I don't want to jack them up, but okay. Okay, a little bit of clarity. See what's going on. I'm okay. All right. All right, what's up with this judgment card for Taurus? What's going on? Judgment. Judgment. It's a new deck. Give me a second. Three of Pentacles reversed. Foundations may be a little bit shaky. One more. I'm going to try not to take more than two to clarify just to keep these short and sweet and to the point because it is a bonus read but you know me I, I say that and then I'm making a card buffet on the table seven of wands reversed making a judgment call coming out of a state of internal struggle making a judgment call something isn't it's either it's not coming together or it's coming apart possibly feeling a little bit defeated but you're making a judgment call in the present moment all right what's with this princess of wands reversed then we'll go to the past and then we'll go to the future i kind of like to figure out what's going on in the moment before i look in the rearview mirror you know that's just me. All right, it gave me two. Um, five of Wands reversed and Temperance reversed. Okay, there's not a whole lot of communication going on right now. I think you're just trying to avoid conflict because there's negative energy. Shoot! Possibly could be a little bit impatient with this person, but you're just trying to avoid conflict. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the other person. Person that Taurus is dealing with. Two of Wands uprights. For the present, overall. Two of Wands in the upright. What's up? Magician reversed. Five pentacles reversed. One more. Okay, here's what... Okay, first blush. Here's what I'm getting off of this. They want to let go of whatever happened in the past and move forward with you. They don't want to be out in the cold, but something's not manifesting. I'm not seeing that magician reversed as like a manipulative energy. I'm seeing it's just a straight up 
my tools aren't working and I don't know how to fix this. But they don't want to be out in the cold with you. They want to move forward from it. They want to move past it. Okay, one more though. Give me one more. Oh wow, Ten of Swords, yeah. They want to end of the pain. And with the sun to shine again on this, they, they, they don't know how to fix this. They don't know if they can fix it. They just, they just want the painful cycle to be over. They want, they, oh my gosh, my heart is sinking right now. Okay. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, current moment. Okay, the King of Pentacles, he's like... The husband, father, you know, insert whatever pronoun. He's like, you know, he's the provider. He's, he's like, if, if abundance had like skin, it would be the king of pentacles. Okay. He's the guy. He takes care of business. Okay. Who came out? Queen of Swords reversed. Well, shit. Okay. Um, uh, feel a little bit of a toad. That might explain the negative energy, you know, if... You ain't got nothing to say, and they don't have anything nice to say at this point. Um, damn. Death reversed. I feel like something isn't changing. Like, attitudes haven't changed. I need one more. Sometimes you just gotta take another card. I'm sorry. Attitudes haven't changed. Ace of Pentacles reversed. It's coming apart. There's negative energy. Someone's avoiding conflict. Somebody has a horrible attitude. I think somebody has provided and provided and provided. And I'm feeling like things haven't changed and I have nothing left to give. That's that's the vibe I'm catching off of this. There's, they might be in the doghouse. Or you might... They may put you in the doghouse. Or you put them in the doghouse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's in the doghouse. I'm trying to hard... I'm trying to figure out why. It's precipity, persnippity, persnippity. Come into the now. Why is the Prince of Cups here for Taurus? Justice, leveling of the playing field. The scales are balancing. Things are about to be cut out. Justice comes in when there has been an injustice. It might have something to do with this Prince of Cups. This might become a legal matter. Or um, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of Pentacles reversed. You guys could fight about money. <sighs> Something about money. Not enough money.
Maybe somebody lost a job. I don't... Uh, lost a job, quit a job. One more. Something about a lack of abundance. Or someone fearing a lack of abundance. Legal matters coming up. Eight of Swords reverse flipped as it was going on the table. I, that's a six. That's the six. I hate it when it does that because I saw it in the upright and then it flipped. I'm being told to take this in the upright. Crossing of choppy waters. It's the crossing of choppy waters. <clears throat> Making a judgment call in the past. Taurus, what happened? I'm getting a sense that there may be a child involved. Someone might have a child or children with someone. Because there's three people in this boat. There, there's a woman and a child and someone steering the boat. Huh. Okay. Why is a fool here for the person that Taurus is dealing with? Why the fool... Oh, holy hell. Okay. Okay. This gave me like four cards. Holy crap. Hanged man. Queen of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Discontent. There's discontent in the past. Acceptance of a situation, but why is that Nine of Pentacles reversed here? What's up with that? Queen of Wands reversed is like a lack of passion, could be a lack of forward movement. King of Cups reversed. Oh, wow. Complete emotional closing off. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Um, I'm hearing and I'm feeling that somebody... <sighs> like, I needed you and you weren't there. I needed you and you weren't there. It was a codependent energy and somebody was emotionally closed off. Not a finger pointer. Not a finger pointer. All things can be vice versa. Somebody was closed off. Somebody needed somebody and somebody was completely closed off to it. Why Queen of Wands reversed? Things weren't fair. Six of Pentacles reversed. 
Things weren't fair, things weren't even, things weren't balanced. I gave and I gave and I gave. I gave and I gave and I gave. I think this is... We're moving this into the present. I th whoever you're dealing with, Taurus, feels like they just keep giving and they keep giving and they keep giving. I don't feel like they feel like they're getting anything back. And this is super strange. You're just trying to avoid conflict. You might be dealing with someone slightly narcissistic. I don't know. I don't know. They just want the sun to shine again. They don't want to let this go. They're in the doghouse for whatever reason. You put them in the doghouse. All right, let's 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 move into the future, Taurus, because this reading is probably more confusing than the last one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what September brings, but let's move into the future. Why the lovers reverse for Taurus. This deck has a weird vibe. I will say that. Very weird vibe, but I like it. I'm a little weird, so. Why the lovers reversed? Why the lovers reversed? Why the lovers reversed? I'm not taking 20 cards. I'm going to take the one I saw. Two cups reversed and putting the rest back. My priest is reversed. Sorry, Empress reversed. <clears throat> it's the Empress reversed. It's a three, not a two. I see sadness and discontent. I, I see a breakup. I see a breakup. The Empress, she represents family. She represents home. She represents growth. I see something no longer growing. I see... <laughs> You're in the process of making a judgment call. I don't know what this Knight of Cups up, up here in the past... In, is in the past I feel like somebody came in I don't feel like this is this person down here I feel like this is somebody else Oh, wow. All right. Why is the King of Swords here for the other person? I'd have to light some sage. Taurus, you're going to make me light some sage after this one. Holy cow. Okay. Okay. Four of Wands reversed. The Two of Wands reversed. 
add that up, that six reversed wands, it's lack of victory. The four of wands reversed is my minor arcana tower. The two of wands reversed is being stuck at the intersection of what do I do and where do I go? Top of a king of swords. Logical head over heart decisions. Non-emotional decisions. Where'd you go? You're almost the same color as my rug. Where'd you go? Okay. <sighs> Princess of Pentacles reversed. Stagnation. No offers of apology. I feel like this is definitely a continuation of the last reading for some reason. I'm not sure why. Wow. Okay. All right. So be it, I guess. Temper reversed. Chariot reversed. Eight of Cups. Things are probably definitely a little bit out of control. Someone in this chariot is being pulled in two different directions. And it may be time to move forward, move on. Okay. What do you do with that? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, there is much discontent. And I think some truths about a situation came out. If they haven't come out, they may be about to. Again, I don't know who this is for. Mm. Abundance. Abundance. Sometimes it does take more strength to let go. Because if you never release the burden, the healing can't happen. saying stop. You know what? We're going to get a couple cards of advice out of the crystal power and then we're going to call it a night. Yeah, short, sweet, and to the point. My foot is 34 minutes. Holy Moses. Well, somebody needed the message, so I just got a wild hair at my rear end tonight to read, so apparently somebody needed to hear this. Sometimes it takes more strength to let go than it does to hang on. And someone needs a healing, so. Okay. Messages for Taurus. The tower. 
I surrender and know how to go forward. I'll say it again. It's not always bad. Towers fall because they were meant to. And unfortunately, the tower spares no one. But that tower is often a blessing in disguise. In the moment, it sucks. But as time passes, and source, spirit, God, whoever it is to you, whoever, you know, your higher power is, moves things in your life, and things begin to happen for your greater good, you are very grateful for that tower as time passes. At least in my experience. And I've had some towers fall in my life, so. Two of Wands, I focus on what I want and make it happen. Ten of Swords, I see the truth in this ending. Nine of Swords, I trust the present moment. Okay, Taurus, this has been your reading. Happy bonus. I'm going to sugarcoat it. I speak the truth. I love you. Bless you. Thank you for everything. And I will catch you hopefully between this, uh, hopefully before the 31st of August for your September read. But either way, I'll catch you next time. And there is always a next time.